When we do audiovisual design, one of the things that we need to do is specify a projector very often. And we need, need to know how bright a projector do I need. Well, there's actually a very simple formula for that. Here at the top, you'll see what comes out of the, the math sheet. But what this tells us is, okay, I'm going to start off with L, the amount of ambient light at the proposed screen location. And I can take a, an luminance meter and I can measure this. If I'm doing U.S. customary units, I will do this in foot candles. If I'm doing metric, I will do this in lux. And then we're going to multiply that times the contrast ratio. And you will find different contrast ratios in our published standards. You'll pick one that's appropriate for your application. And then we will multiply that times the area of the screen that we're going to light up with the projector. If we're doing U.S. customary, that's going to be in square feet. If we're going to do this in metric, it's going to be in square meters. And then I'm going to divide by the screen gain. Very often we're doing a matte white. That is a screen reference gain of one. If it's a gray screen, it's going to be something less than one. If it's a high gain screen, it's going to be something more than one. And then we're going to divide that by the projector derating percentage. If you're using conventional lamps, we all know that they get dimmer with age. So we want to make sure at the end of the lamp's life, we're still maintaining the same contrast ratio. But let's see how we actually work out the area of the screen before we go through the rest of the formula. Let's do U.S. customary first. Let's say I have a screen that is 96 by 60, and that's in inches, so the result is going to be in square inches. Let's see what that works out towards. 96 times 60 is 5,760 square inches. But I mentioned I need this in square feet. That's the easiest way to convert this into square feet. Divide that number by 144. And why do we use 144? Well, if I have a square foot, and I divide that in inches, that is going to be 12 inches by 12 inches. And 12 times 12, 144. So to convert from square inches to square feet, take your square inches and divide by 144. So I have 5760. I'll divide that by 144. And I get a screen that is screen area that's 40 square feet. Let's see how we work this in metric. Let's say I have a screen that is 2657 millimeters by 1,494 millimeters. The nice thing about metric is I just move the decimal point. So I'm going to move the decimal point from here to 2.6, 1,494, and also 1.494. So 2.657 meters by 1.494 meters. And that's going to give me my area in square meters. So 2.657 times... 1.494. That gets me, this is going to equal 3.96, and you can see the rest of it there, 9558. So almost four square meters for the area of the screen. So that's how you would convert U.S. customary square inches into square feet, so square inches to square feet, and in metric, millimeters, square millimeters into square meters. So now that we know how to calculate for the area, let's take another look at our formula. So I started off with the amount of ambient light times the contrast ratio times the area of the screen, divided by screen gain, divided by the derating percentage. Let me expand on that area here in the formula, and I'm just going to do width times height. And if we're doing U.S. customary, that's going to be in inches, give me square inches, but I still need to convert that to square feet, so I could expand that even a little more. What I could do is length, I'm sorry, light, the amount of ambient light, times contrast ratio, times the width, times the height, divided by 144, there's my conversion, divided by the screen gain, divided by the derating percentage. So let's put some numbers to this. We say the ambient light was six foot candles, the desired contrast ratio was 15 to 1, times, we said it was 96 wide, by 60 tall, divide that by 144, we said it was a matte white, so that would be a screen gain of 1, divided by the derating percentage of 0 0.75. Let's enter all that into our calculator. 6 times 15 times, open up the paren, 96 times 60, divided by 144, close the paren, divided by 1, divided by 0.75. Hit the enter key, and there we go again, 4,800 lumens, or practically speaking, a 5,000 lumen projector, typically. Let's do this in metric. So again, I've expanded the width and height here. 
So we're going to do metric, we're going to do lux instead of foot candles. Let's start off with an ambient light that was measured of 60 lux at the screen location. Still, we're going to use the 15 to 1 contrast ratio. And it was specified as 2657 millimeters by 1494 millimeters. We're just going to move the decimal point 2.657 meters by 1.494 meters. And let's do a screen gain of less than 1. Let's say this has a screen gain of 0.8. So divide by 0.8, because it's a gray screen, and then divide still by the derating percentage of 0.75. Let's enter all this into our calculator and let's see what we get. So 60 lux times 15 for a contrast ratio times, and let's open up the paren here, 2.657 meters times 1.494 meters, close the paren, divide by 0.8, because we're doing a gray screen here, something less than 1, and divide by 0.75, the derating percentage. Hit the enter key in the lower right tells us that what we're looking for, 5954.337 lumens, or practically speaking, a 6,000 lumen projector in this particular case. So you should be able to now specify a projector, know how many lumens you need based upon your measured ambient light.